Welcome to this brief introductory video about our latest GeoWiki campaign. By participating, you can win great prizes while at the same time becoming part of our scientific team, helping us to do research on agricultural monitoring, global food security, and environmental change. Keep listening if you want to learn more. The objective of our latest campaign, called Cropland Validation, is to collect data on whether there is cropland or not at around 40,000 locations around the world. This global data set will help us to better map the spatial extent of cropland worldwide so that we can predict the environmental impacts of intensifying and expanding agriculture in the future. We have more than 10,000 people already registered in GeoWiki. If you have not registered previously, then go to www.geowiki.org and click on the Register Here link at the top right of the screen. Please use Chrome or Firefox to access GeoWiki. Fill in the registration form and then click on the Register button at the bottom. We will then send you a confirmation email. Click on the link in the email to activate your account. If you don't receive this email, check your spam folders first, then contact us at info at geowiki.org. Once your account is confirmed, or for those of you who already have a GeoWiki account, log into GeoWiki with your username and password. Next, click on Enter Application and you will see the GeoWiki screen. Once in GeoWiki, select the Sigma branch from the drop-down box at the top of the screen. You will only need to do this the first time you enter the application and GeoWiki will remember your settings. Finally, click on Sigma Validation and then press the Start Validation button to begin. Once you begin the validation process, you will see a satellite image with a grid of 25 squares laid on top. If an individual grid square contains more than 50% cropland, click on it to turn it yellow. In the example shown here, five grid squares contain more than 50% cropland, so we clicked on these pixels to turn them yellow. Cropland is defined as annual crops that is sown or harvested in a year. If you mistakenly choose a grid square, simply click on it again to turn it off. Once all the grid squares containing cropland are chosen, add a comment if you wish, and then click on the Submit button to move to the next area to validate. You can also press the Skip button if the image proves very difficult to classify. There are several useful features on the validation screen. On the left hand side you will find a button that will zoom you out to a global view so that you can see where the point is located on the Earth's surface. This may give you some context that can help with the validation process. Any time that you want to stop the validation, click on the Stop Validation button. To know how you're doing in relation to everyone else, click on the leaderboard and a table will appear. On the right hand side you will see some useful buttons and a slider bar. The Mark All as Cropland button will shade all 25 squares at once, which is useful when the whole area is cropland. Similarly, if you wish to clear the shading at any time, click on the Clear All Subpixels button. The Transparency slider determines how dark the shading is and how much of Google Earth you can see. The View in Google Earth button is an advanced feature. If you click on this button and you have Google Earth Desktop installed, then you can visualize the point with the full capabilities of Google Earth, that is 3D and historical imagery, as well as geotag photographs. This can be useful when you need more information to help you decide if an area has cropland or not. Finally, the Ask Experts for Help button is useful when you want to send an image to one of us at the GeoWiki team. We will look at the image and then post the answer on our GeoWiki competition group in Facebook. You can also use this to email us when you have a question or want to provide us with feedback. We value your suggestions and we will take them seriously. So we explained earlier that we define cropland here as annual crops. Thus permanent crops such as oil palm, banana plantations and orchards are not included in the definition. Here is an example of what oil palm looks like. Fallow fields are also not included and neither are greenhouses. This example here shows greenhouses at the bottom and examples of cropland shaded in yellow. Any other land cover type is also not considered cropland. For example, here you see scattered trees, 
so you would leave this blank and press the Submit button. Your contributions will help us to improve the global map of cropland extent, which is used in global agricultural monitoring of the world's food security situation. But we would also like to reward our top contributors. The top 30 participants, ranked by a combination of the highest total score and a final check for quality, will have the option to choose between two main prizes. To become a co-author on a scientific paper about our latest and best global cropland map, with an impact factor of greater than 2.0, or to receive an Amazon gift voucher, which will range in value from 25 to 750 euros, depending upon your position on the final leaderboard, as shown here. We will ask you to indicate your preference at the start of the competition, but you will be able to change your mind at any time. The choice is yours. Thanks for your attention. Happy validating.